testing out their new workspace. These students are getting stuck into the university's new food research lab, which opened this week to facilitate a growing need for food science. The redevelopment we would like to use this facility for the food processing and product development activities that is important for our education in the teaching in undergraduates but also for postgraduate. Uh, we have also research together with the industry. The tin shed will be used for a six-year food industry technology scheme managed by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment. Staff from local food businesses will undertake product development and testing inside the facility. They're able to trial ways of sterilising milk instead of using conventional pasteurisation and can learn how to make the perfect french fry with the help of science. That is a quite unique uh, technology that we initiated in this country. So we have also the equipment in this facility as a unique equipment that we can deliver and we believe that can have a more benefits for our industry. The shed has an extensive history. It was an American heart gifted 70 years ago to house home science students. It's also been a home science room, a storage shed and a workshop, but the latest renovation has seen it transformed for modern needs. We have a long history with the tin shed, but the, now the growth of the students is a lot and then we need more space, so that's why the tin shed back to their first functions become lab again. The laboratory has been used as a temporary measure until the university's food science department has a more permanent facility. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.